How to Recognize Staph Infection Symptoms Staph infections are caused by the staph bacteria, Staphylococcus aureus. Staph bacteria is commonly found on the skin and in the nose and usually does not present any problems. However, if the bacteria enters your body through a cut or other wound, a potentially dangerous, and even deadly, staph infection can occur. Learn more about the signs of staph infection to help identify it and receive medical attention when needed. Part 1 Recognizing Symptoms 1. Look for skin-based symptoms Some of the most visible signs that can indicate staph infection are found on the skin. These will take the form of sores, rashes, or blisters that may be accompanied by discharge or pus. If you notice any of these skin conditions, it may indicate a staph infection. Boils are the most common symptom of staph infection. These will be red and swollen areas that are filled with pus. Impetigo is a rash that can form large blisters and is contagious. Cellulitis will appear as a red or swollen area of skin. Sores that emit a discharge may appear in the affected area. 2. Check for signs of bacteremia. Bacteremia is a condition that is caused when staph bacteria gain access to the bloodstream. This is a serious issue as the staph infection can travel to other parts of the body. If staph reaches other areas, such as internal organs or bones, it can infect them as well. Having a fever may indicate the presence of bacteremia. Low blood pressure will usually accompany an instance of bacteremia. 3. Watch for symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. Toxic shock syndrome is a life-threatening condition and requires immediate medical treatment. This condition occurs when staph bacteria are introduced to the body by skin injuries, surgery, or even some types of tampons. Look for the following symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. High fever. Muscle soreness. Abdominal pain. Nausea. Vomiting. Diarrhea. 4. Pay attention to symptoms that could indicate septic arthritis. Septic arthritis has been known to be caused by staph infections. This occurs when the staph bacteria reach a joint and infect it. The most commonly infected joints are the knees, but any joint is a possible location of staph infection. Septic arthritis is usually accompanied by the following the symptoms. Swelling in the affected joint. Extreme pain in the joint. High fever. Part 2 Treating Staph 1. See your doctor. If you suspect that you might have a staph infection, you will need to visit your doctor as soon as possible. Staph infections can enter deeply into the body and cause serious and life-threatening health issues. Don't hesitate to seek medical help if you think you may have a staph infection. Review the following points to prepare for your appointment. Be ready to provide your doctor with information about your health history and current symptoms. Make sure you include any medications or current medical issues besides your staph infection. Your doctor will ask you some questions about your symptoms, including when you first noticed them and how severe they are. Your doctor will try to discover how you may have gotten a staph infection. 2. Learn more about what tests your doctor might order. To determine if you have a staph infection, your doctor will need to run diagnostic tests. These tests will allow for an accurate diagnosis of a staph infection and will allow the proper treatment to be determined by your doctor. Knowing what to expect ahead of time can reduce stress and help you know what to ask your doctor about. Your doctor will do a physical examination of skin or surface-level symptoms including any rashes, boils, or sores. Tissue samples will be collected from any affected areas and from the nasal canals. These samples will be examined in detail for signs of staph bacteria. 
3. Follow your doctor's instructions for treatment. After your doctor has diagnosed you with having a staph infection, treatments can then be administered. Most treatments will be done directly by your doctor, but some can be done at home. Antibiotics will likely be prescribed. Your doctor will give you specific instructions that must be followed when taking your antibiotics. An incision may be made in any skin infections that need draining. If you have a surgical device that was implanted and it either caused the infection or became infected, it will need to be removed. Part 3 Preventing Staph 1. Keep your hands clean. Washing your hands is a simple and effective way to avoid staph infections, as well as a number of other health issues. By keeping your hands clean, you can reduce the chances of a staph infection happening to you. Wash your hands thoroughly for 20 to 30 seconds. Hand sanitizers can be used as long as they have at least 62% alcohol content. 2. Keeps cuts protected. Having an open wound can be an entry point for a staph infection. By keeping any cuts or scrapes covered, clean and protected you can reduce the chances of a staph infection setting in. Always keep a bandage over any cut or scrape. Make sure bandages are dry and sterile. Covering a wound that has become infected with staph can help prevent the staph from spreading. 3. Practice safe tampon use. A tampon should only be used for a short period of time before it must be changed. Using one tampon for too long can lead to staph bacteria multiplying and causing life-threatening toxic shock syndrome. Avoid this risk by changing tampons when necessary. Change tampons at least once every 4 to 8 hours. Low-absorbency tampons can reduce the risk of toxic shock syndrome. 4. Keep your personal items to yourself. Sharing any personal items can come with the risk of sharing staph infections. Staph bacteria can be spread by either direct personal contact with another person or by contact with an item carrying the bacteria. If you must share a personal item, make sure it has been properly cleaned. Don't share items such as towels, clothes, or razors. Wash any shared clothing or sheets in hot water and use bleach if possible. Clean surfaces in your home with disinfectants to remove or kill staph bacteria. Tips If you suspect you have a staph infection, get medical treatment for it immediately. Most signs of staph infection will be on the skin and fairly visible. Look for any rashes, sores, or blisters that are emitting discharge or pus. Follow your doctor's home care instructions exactly. Warnings Some strains of staph are becoming immune to antibiotic treatment. It is important that you follow your doctor's instructions exactly when taking an antibiotic. Always finish all of prescribed antibiotics and less development of hives, trouble breathing, or swallowing, which would indicate an allergy to the antibiotic. When in doubt, call the prescribing physician or go to the emergency room if you are unable to breathe or swallow. Staph infections are highly contagious. Never share any personal items or come in direct contact with an infected person.